Let's make kefta today. I'm going to use some mint and parsley, jalapeno, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, garlic, lemons, chives. Now those are garlic chives though. And a couple onions, a red one and a white one. And allspice and tahini and some mushrooms and pita bread and some lamb. And let's get started. I'm going to start off by making the sauce first. I'm going to take three garlic cloves and let this chop them. And next I'm going to add a handful of mint leaves and some parsley. Some parsley leaves. Chop this up. Add about a cup of tahini. I'm just going to eyeball it. Third a cup of water. Mix this again. And add lemon juice. Lemon juice of four lemons. It's probably about very close to half a cup. And I see one seed that went in there. Get that out. Add a teaspoon of salt. Mix it again. And here we have our wonderful tahini sauce. It's flavored with fresh herbs. It's going to be wonderful. Next, I'm going to take one onion and quite a bit of parsley here. I'd say at least a half a cup or so. At least that's what I'm going to call it. And mix this up. And that looks pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and add one pound of lamb. I ground it up myself. Put that in there. Add a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of allspice. pepper, like a fourth a teaspoon to half a teaspoon, mix this up, be sure you mix it around a little bit yourself, and just really, really, truly get mixed up, get it all mixed up, I'm going to put it into a bowl, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes because it's really soft and it'll help uh, get it to uh, a better consistency. And I don't know if you noticed, it almost uh, rose up into a ball like you're making dough. I'm going to get all this in here. I started cutting up my vegetables. These are the mushrooms I quartered and here's some mint leaves. Uh, I don't think I need to use any more parsley. I think I got quite a bit of parsley in that in the lamb there. And these are garlic chives. Let's put some of those on there. And some green onions. Put that on my tray. Some onion. I cut up my bell pepper and my jalapeno, put it on the tray. And spread it out some. Put some 
olive oil on top, salt. I'm using coarse salt, so of course finely ground salt, you would never use that much. Lemon juice, juice of a lemon, pepper, and get this all mixed up. I'm going to cook all this on my outside grill here. It'll probably take about 20 minutes. Well, I roasted these on the grill for 20 minutes. I'm going to take them inside and put them in a, a warm oven just to keep them warm. Next, I'm going to take my lamb, put it on the grill. And no, I'm not going to use skewers because you just throw them away anyway. And the uh, lamb did firm up a little bit. It was very soft when I mixed it up. And I'm going to uh, cook these over medium heat. I'm on a gas grill today. All right, it's been five minutes. I'm going to turn these. I'm cooking like on three sides. And the reason I didn't make them long is because I was afraid they'd break apart. There's so much moisture in there. I know I added too much parsley, but you know, maybe a little too much onion too. Ah, it's hot. And I'm going to cook these, but they went for about five minutes. And I guess I'll cook them on two sides and maybe six or seven more minutes. Okay, it's been another five minutes. Oh, that looks nice. I like the way that looks. I turned the heat down a little bit. I think I'll let these go another couple minutes and then I'll take them inside. I have some pita bread. I'm going to take two of my pieces of lamb. Put some of our sauce on there. Ooh, wow. Some of our peppers and mushrooms. And of course if you don't don't want to do the mushrooms and peppers and stuff uh, lettuce and tomatoes fine. My sauce is a little thick here. I could add a little more water to it but it's gonna be great anyway. I'll just warm that up. Roll this up and have a bite. Mm. That is wonderful. Wonderful. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much.